Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at the presets and plugins inside of LMMS. And then we're going to also take a look at importing new presets to use that are not already there. So yeah, let's jump into this. So what I'm going to do is open up LMMS. And now that we're inside of LMMS, to get to the plugins and presets area, you can go over to the sidebar and click on the one with the star. And that's my presets. And inside of here, you'll see a bunch of different folders with different names. And those names actually correspond to the synths that are inside the application. And inside of them are different presets that were made for the synth. So you can click on them if you want to hear them. And yeah, in all these folders, there's a lot of synths presets already inside of LMMS. And there's some really amazing ones. So let's go into Zenad sub effects. And just take a look at a few different of these sounds. And these are all free that come stock with LMMS from the first download. And they sound really amazing. Like, there's some really good sounds. You can make all different sorts of beats. Pretty much any sort of beat that you'd want to make, you could make it here. If we go over to FL Studio, I've already got FL Studio and I bought like a few plugins and I'm telling you that those synths compete with those. So we can pull out Nexus and if we go over here and listen to some of the pads, let's see. There's definitely some pads that are just as good and even better because there's more like unique sounds inside of LMMS. So yeah, we could grab one of these and make crazy beat with this. I don't even have a drum kit in here yet the default drums to get some drums on here. Time we can even put another layer on top. And then yeah, if you ever, if you don't have enough sounds that you need from just in these folders, we can grab some more by going over to LMS.io and go to the sharing platform. And in here you can find a lot of stuff. And one thing they have a lot is, is presets. And you can find a bunch of presets that different people made that are going to sound crazy. And they're going to be different from the ones that you already have. So to start off, Let's try to find like a piano preset. So I'm going to go over to the pianos and then let's change the rating to the most popular. And this will probably help us find the best piano maybe. So I'm going to click on this top one, piano TGP, and I'll download that. And once we have that downloaded, we can come over here and we have to open up this presets folder in the file explorer. So to do that, the fastest way that I know is just to search LMS and then press open file location. And then do that again on the application. And once you're in here, you have to go to data to get to that file or that folder structure in here. And then we'll see that there's a presets and that's where we're gonna go and put this preset. And here's all the different folders that we have here. 
And what I'm actually going to do is create a new folder so that we can organize our custom presets. And I'll call that custom presets. And once we created that, we can go over back to our tab and drop that into custom presets. Say continue. And now we'll have that preset that we downloaded inside of our custom presets folder. And if we go back to the My Presets tab, we'll see that there's no custom presets. But if we click the Reload button, it'll reload the structure. And then we'll see that there's a custom presets folder. And we'll have the Piano TGB plugin right here. And here we have a brand new piano sound inside of LMMS. Yeah, thanks guys. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I'll try to make some more